Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our Valheim series. We have been looking for a traitor for the past couple of episodes and I've stumbled across pretty much everything except for the traitor. I've got a plains biomes just over here and I don't think that I want to mess around with it too bad. These goblins, they are no joke. They're not called goblins, but I don't remember what they're called. I don't have, realistically don't have the materials to be able to fight them. They deal like 80 damage. I don't want to mess with it. So I'm going to go around, but it's nice to know that it's here. Um, there's probably skeletons nearby. Hopefully it's just a skeleton. But with the planes being so close by this way, I am a little bit on edge. I don't know if there's going to be anything that's wandered into this forest. Okay, there is a skeleton over here. That's fine. As long as I don't bump into the planes and stay pretty much this way, then I should be okay. And I'll probably remember that there's a planes biome past this way. This is actually really good. Uh, not the fact that there's a plains biome. <laughs> I mean, yes, the fact that there is a plains biome. Uh, I'm stuck between a troll and a hard place here. So, give me just a moment. Let's just run this away. And I should be okay. Yeah, this... Oh, god. Okay. There's... This looks like it's a Draugr encampment most likely either that or no it's probably definitely a Draugr village I wonder if there are any Draugr over here because so I'd like to take on a couple um, I got to the swamp actually I found the swamp last episode and that's pretty much about it I found a couple of other things just uh, lying around here and there this has got it there. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's just hide a little bit, right? I don't have a ton of food to my name. My axe isn't fully repaired, or my axe is broken. Let's just grab a couple of these guys. Now you have no idea where I'm at. Yeah, you do. Actually, you know exactly where I'm at. Oh, I missed. Hello? What are you doing? Get back here. Okay, sweet. So I can probably take on a, a few of these guys. They're killing some stuff here and there. Let's hold on to my bow shot so I can regen some stamina quick. Oh, this guy's fighting a uh, whole bunch of stuff. Actually, I think he's fighting pretty much all those pigs. And... Eh, nope. Come on, buddy. Oh, <laughs> that just made me look really stupid. Oh, that guy's fighting everything. And now he's going to come and fight me. But you have... Oh, this arrow drop is actually pretty bad on this bow. But, um, it's okay. Yeah, so I've been killing a couple of Draugr here and there. They've been giving me quite a bit of stuff. I can make a few sausages, which will help a lot uh, for the next boss that we're going to be fighting. I'll have a little bit of extra health to my name. But let's just see... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of whole bunch of them here. I'm actually going to mark this on the map because this will be a good spot to put a portal. And I can actually farm these spawners quite easily. Let's just do maybe like this here. That way I know it's here. And we'll just move on. So I'm still looking for this trader. Um, I feel like I've literally found everything except for the trader. I... Discovered I probably need to take a boat to get to this guy. And that's okay. But um, I'd rather not fight him, like, right now. I mean, we can probably fight him this episode, especially considering the fact that I'm going to have sausages. But it's still going to be a real big pain in the butt to fight without a decent amount of stuff. Because I'm going to need a butt ton of arrows, which I've been kind of prepping for. I've been killing all of the birds that I can... In hopes that I can uh, just kind of spam a bunch of like fire arrows and stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to kite the guy back enough to be able to um, 
not get hit by all of his little pokey bits. I cannot stand this guy. Fighting him is a pain in the butt. Um, I actually, in a friend's playthrough, we have beaten the third boss. We haven't gotten any farther past that. But uh, the third boss is definitely harder <laughs> than the second boss. So, all of my complaining that I've been doing about the second boss is, like, absolutely... <laughs> I'm just so ill-prepared that I feel like I'm just going to get demolished. But I'm going to keep on looking for the stinking traitor because I'm going to find it if it's the last thing I do. So, I'll be back. We are making a boat. And... Bleh. Oh, of course it's facing the wrong way. Why wouldn't it be facing the wrong way? Mm. Well, that's okay. I hope I don't run into anything because I've got pretty much all of my good stuff on me. Um, I did bring enough for a portal, so it's okay. But I'd like to hope that I don't lose all my stuff here. <laughs> Because this is fine. I mean, if I do end up dying, it's okay. But it'd be nice to not. Because <laughs> dying out at sea isn't going to be very pleasant at all. Oh, this thing's really hard to steer. Okay. Well, we might go on the sandbank. That's okay. <laughs> Thankfully, the wind's kind of with us. Um... I don't know how far out... Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, the only boats I've actually used are the um, raft and then the longship. So, I have absolutely no clue how to drive this little car. Um, it works pretty much the same way, but it's not quite as good as that longship is. I'm going to try to hug the shore as much as I can here. Because this is still mostly in the meadows. But it will turn to ocean here. And hopefully I can get to the point where I can at least get close enough to shore. That I don't have to worry about a serpent. But ugh, driving these things just makes me feel super motion sick. <laughs> I think there's a setting that you can change. But I'm not entirely certain that I want it to change. Because, like, this looks really nice. I do like the aesthetic that they have with this whole, um, riding on the boat. It looks, the way that the camera moves is very realistic. I'm probably going to hit ocean here very shortly. I'm mostly in the meadows. Now, you should be able to see the serpent before it sees you, hopefully. I am going to be starting to get into the ocean here very soon. Here it is, and here's to me keeping my eyes super peeled. This is not very far away, so I should be okay. And the portal I have at home, I forgot to rename it, so this is just going to have to be named the Trader Portal. And if I need to rename it, I, it's not going to be the end of the world. But um, I can always just rename or name the trader portal, the actual trader portal, something else. Looks like we're actually okay. So I don't really have to worry too much about anything um, popping out at me here. I'll be able to crash land if anything, if something pops up. But I highly doubt it will. So let's pull the sail a little bit. And let's just casually coast into the shore here. I'm probably gonna have to go this way a little bit. Stop the sail, stop the rudder. Well, can you stop? Can you, can you actually stop? There we go. Okay, so now that I'm like dizzy beyond all hell, Let's just go ahead. Ah! I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. 
especially, and I hate you. Leave me alone. My life is complete. It's over here. <laughs> uh, the trainer's over here. If I find out that I could have swum over here, I'm going to be super upset. Not even going to lie. But it's okay. The trader is here. Trader is here. That's the gray dwarf thing. That's fine. I, I, this was the first time I found... Um, actually, last episode, I found it for the first time, that gray dwarf lore thing. Because it popped up. And then I have not stopped finding them. Oi! But this is him! He's right here! I don't have the wood to make a workbench, so I'm going to have to do that real quick. But this guy is the guy I've been looking for. For the past three episodes, I need this. I also would like this. And I don't really care too much about the Ymir flash. Um, I, I might go into the heavy weapon. I think you also need it for one of the other clubs that is frost-based. And, I mean, if, I, if that's something I end up wanting to grab, I'll grab it. It's not a big deal. But I don't actually have a whole lot of money to my name right now because I haven't been raiding, raiding dungeons at all. I've just kind of been out scouring the place. But in worst case scenario, I can raid a couple of dungeons right here. And let's see, where do I want to put this portal? Probably just right on this nice little rock. Let's go. And... Yeah, that's fine. And you can just go... Actually, maybe I don't want you on the rock. Let's just do this. Right, traitor. That's perfect. I can go ahead, grab all my stuff, sell it. <laughs> oh, this whole entire time it was across the... Stupid ocean. So I'm back home, grabbing my valuables, and seeing how much I can actually sell. I grabbed, I was able to make a couple of these like wall torches and I was also able to make a banner. So now I'm a comfort nine and I can actually see when I'm in my house. But let's go ahead and go straight back to this trader and see how much more money we need for that uh, melon lord thing, whatever belt that is available. If not, I might just buy the fishing rod grab a little bit of fish. Let's see. Oh, I have enough for it. Perfect. That is the most ideal thing that I could have probably ever had. <laughs> and I've got 13 to spare. So, I mean, that's really all I actually need from him is this, because that's 450 carry weight. And that goes a long way. I can carry quite a bit more wood and stone if I need to be dragging stuff everywhere. I can mine for a little bit longer. Granted, I'm mostly going to be using carts. But when it comes to um, grabbing the dungeons and stuff like that, those cores, they end up weighing you down quite a bit. So it's really nice to have. Um, now, pretty much all I need to do is prep for the boss. Because I mean, the boss is literally just right up from him. And so having the portal here is fine. I really only needed the portal by the Elder if the Elder wasn't near the traitor. And the fact that they're right next to each other just means one less portal I have to worry about. So I think I'm going to make some preparations. I don't know if we're going to take on this boss right away. Because I still feel a little bit underprepared. I'd like to level up my buckler one more time. I'd like to also... I can't upgrade my bow. But if I can get some fire arrows, that would be great. And then I don't think I can upgrade my mace any farther either. So I think I'm just going to get this to level 3. Get my armor to level 3. My, my helmet at least. I can't make these level 3. And then make a whole bunch of fire arrows and see where I can get from there. So I'll meet you in a bit. I'm going to get a baby piggy. I picked up the... Raspberries. No, I don't want them over there. Come on, give me a little piggy. Come on. Give up hearts. No, come on. I want the little piggy. They're so cute. I love them so much. 
Lord, if I can actually throw. Biggie? No? You gave me love hearts. Mm. Okay, well, I'll check back on you guys later. I have a little piggy. Look at him. So cute. Oh. <laughs> Alright, it is a new day. I've been waiting for my food to get low so that I can get pretty much the fresh um, roll off of these. And that should put me about 130, 120 health right away. I can't really be more prepared. Um, I actually could level up my bow. So I did upgrade that one tier. Made a few fire arrows and I restocked on my flint arrows. And then I also upgraded my buckler and my helmet. So hopefully that is enough to... I went through the portal. Went through the portal. I went through the portal and I didn't bring my ancient seeds. Time for me to go back. <laughs> I actually, when I was making that boat, uh, when I went to go grab, I went to go down to the coast to build it, I got all the way there and I forgot my nails. So I had to run all the way back. Um, they are here. I don't need that many, but it's okay. It's whatever. Let's just go ahead and while I've got my rested buff, let's wait until I get over there. And then I'm going to... Try to fight this guy legit. Hopefully he doesn't take me down. Hopefully he doesn't take a whole bunch, uh, or hopefully he doesn't call in a whole bunch of gray dwarves. I'm going to have to clear the area first and make sure that I'll be okay beforehand. Like the spawner needs to go. Actually, I'm probably going to have to just fill up here. Look at that health. Let's just grab these while my health heals up a little bit and... At 43 health, I should be okay. That would suck if I just died right now. Ooh! <laughs> Excuse you. That's not nice. Let me just parry you. Parry, parry. Platypus, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. And hopefully we just don't get our butts kicked. Uh, there's a couple skeletons here that I'm going to probably have to take care of. That's okay. Really? That didn't kill you? Excuse you? Pardon me. Thank you. I hopefully then can go straight into that swamp. And get a couple of those um, dungeons. I Crips. Crips. That's what they're called. I don't... I don't know how well I'm going to do against them solo. I might actually have to make myself some poison resist potions. Um, I didn't when I was in a group because usually I'd be able to sit back and uh, charge at them when I needed to. But there's quite a few of those oozes. They're like little blobs and they poison you pretty heavily. Um, they'll take you down pretty quickly if they get a hit on you and you can't block a decent amount of that. Um, so we're just gonna have to take it kind of step by step. This is actually a really good area. I'm going to clear out this place. Because this place means bad. For sure. Let's see. Where are you? Yeah, yeah. Go away. Go away. Where are the other ones? Ugh. Excuse you. That's not nice if you hadn't by in the corner like that. That's illegal. You can't do that. Against the law. Thanks. Have a nice day. Okay. This area is as clear as it could be. This is actually probably the most ideal spot for the Elder. There's not a whole ton of trees to block my shots. I'm just going to equip my fire arrows. Let's swap this over. And let's fight him. Oh boy. Where is he going to spawn? Right there. Okay. So let's just real quick hide behind this pillar and get to a point where I can get a shot ready. There he is. Let's actually activate my power click while he's getting up. And then I can 
Yeah, he's gonna fire that right away. So I can hide behind that pillar. He's going to cast a few of these. And now this is where I just really quick now make sure these don't hit me. I'm gonna have to just hold my block and hope he's coming this way, so now I'm gonna have to run. Oh yeah. Stop. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna be casting that, so that's fine. Get another fire arrow on you. Ooh. Okay, that's okay. You're going to be getting a couple of those vines out, so going to have to move. And then you're probably going to... Okay, listen here. Stop that, please. Thank you. Ugh, that really hurts. If all of those hit you, it pretty much just insta-downs you. Um, it's a downs you, I say that as if you can be res. Okay. You're gonna release some more vines, you're gonna cast that stupid thing again. Now I had a- yeah, I had absolutely no idea how to fight this guy when I first ran to him, or when I first tried fighting him. And, um, basically I got my butt absolutely kicked. Uh, he almost killed me. The only reason he didn't actually kill me was because of a pathing glitch that he was having. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Maybe let's not do a whole ton of talking, explaining while I'm fighting this guy because I can't concentrate. And I'm gonna have to just run again because this guy's stuff is in a really screwed up spot. Stop casting that. You're right here. Uh, I'm gonna have to run this way. And let's just keep shooting at him. Whoa! Okay, that's fine. That didn't only one of those hit me. That's okay. Where are those coming? Right here. So I'm gonna have to go and hide behind this pillar. Excuse you. Come on. Keep going. Where where was that one even aiming, dude? Uh, where was mine even aiming? Did you? Maybe I just swap back to these, honestly. Oh, bad time for the game to save. Thank you for doing that. Part of me kind of wishes that the autosave wouldn't autosave while you were in combat. I feel like if you're saving during combat anyway, there's just no point. I don't know how much these are doing. I don't- well, that one didn't even hit them. I think my fire arrows are doing more. Yeah, probably. Yeah, now that I know how to fight this guy, he's not quite as tough as <laughs> the first time. But he's still going to be quite a big old menace to fight. Just because he's super tanky. He's also pathing really stupid. Ugh. Stop doing that. Okay. You're fine. Is it getting nighttime already? I literally just slept. Okay. Cast that. That's okay. I shoot you. You're on fire. Where's that even aiming? You're gonna come over to me and try to hit me because you're a stinky poo poo man. Aha, but I've got pillars. Your own summoning altar has turned against you. Okay. I'm out of reach of all of these. Where are you aiming that thing? You're like making it super hard for me to try to dodge your stuff because I have no idea where you're trying to throw it. Good. Okay. I should be pretty much chill to keep on uh shooting him. Um sorry, I was kinda trying to figure out where those were all spawning. I'm just gonna kinda poke at him a little bit and I'll Catch back with you here in a little in um, when he's dead or when I'm dead, <laughs> whichever comes first. Oh, 
okay. He is down. That is the key for those crypts. And luckily, I just found a swamp this episode and last episode. So we should be good to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just hate how absolutely unnecessarily tanky he is. There's a lot of stone here. I can't let that go to waste. But we are going to go back home and then probably make some preparations to uh, move this. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting this to have been a copper vein. Um, I'm going to put a workbench down real quick and put a chest down so that this doesn't despawn. And if I do happen to uh, come back here, I can come pick it up. I don't think I'll really be needing too much copper, but I can't let this much copper go to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back home real quick and put this up on my little summoning platform thing. And I'll meet you in a bit. Actually, I need to get some upgrades to my troll stuff. How much damage have I done to you so far? Quite a bit, actually. Oh, yeah. I think I can kill you before you even get to me. Yeah. This bow has been putting in so much work. Now, what can I get rid of? Um... Yeah, let's just throw out the Elder Trophy. Uh, dandelions, I don't need those. Don't really need this Troll Trophy either, I don't think. I Last time I know, last time I looked, there was no use for them, so I'm just going to leave it. If anything, I can just go kill another one, it's not a big deal. But now it's time for me to go home. Elder Man. Beautiful. Now this power is actually super underrated, in my opinion. It is so nice when you just want to go and chop wood for like five minutes because that's what it does it lets you chop wood for five minutes and you just explain the entire thing. it's fine but it's super nice just because like instead of two or three or or instead of like three four five hitting trees you like two shot them so you can literally just mine an absolute butt ton of trees and then just go and pick them up when your power is done um, basically what I do is I grab them until I, I mean, I just pick up the wood here and there until I'm full. I just keep chopping down the trees and then just have a cart right next to me. And then when my power runs out, I just lug the cart around and pick up all the wood. It, you get so much wood out of it. Like at least a cart's full. Um, but I'm not going to use that power just yet. I don't really need too much wood right now. Wood's actually one of the things that I'm pretty decent on. Wood and stone. And you know what? Actually, I'm pretty good on everything right now. The only thing I'm, like, realistically short on is, um, like, honey. Because I've only found one beehive since I've been on this map. I've actually found one more, but my inventory was full. So I didn't bother with it. Piggies are having babies quite frequently actually sounds like there's yeah there's quite a few of them um there was something that said that there was like a limit based on the size of the pen but there's five of them in here right now so i don't know what that limit is how many can actually fit in here so um but it's not a huge deal once those grow up i'll probably kill a couple of them i'd like to get some one or two star boars but i'm probably not going to be able to do that until i can uh, get out to the open sea and grab a couple of those leviathan chitin things that way i can just harpoon a better boar i have seen some one star boars actually i my first episode i was like i don't think they exist and i've seen a couple of one stars not very many two stars actually haven't seen any at all on here i've seen one two star boar on my friend's world and that's pretty much it but I think I'm going to head over to the swamp. I'm as geared up as I could possibly be. There's 
really like iron is the next step for me. So hopefully I don't absolutely get demolished. If I'm careful, I should be fine. But um, those oozes are really no joke. So I might have to make a couple of poison resist potions. Not 100% sure. I, yeah, I actually probably should. They take so long to ferment, though. I probably should have been doing that earlier, but eh, hindsight, whatever. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make some bronze so I can get that fermenter going and then get a little bit of poison resist under my belt as well. So I'll meet you in a bit. Okay, so what I did actually do instead was I made a portal over to this Draugr spawner that I found. And I farmed this up a little bit. I got a couple stacks of sausages. And then I also um, brewed up some poison resist potions. That way when I get into the swamp I won't have too terrible of a time. But let's, did I get this chest? I did not. Um, but these guys, not super crazy to fight. As long as you're moving, you should be all right. But I just want to make sure not to accidentally break the spawner. And the Draugr will break the spawner too if they get a hit up on it. Um, these archers you really have to worry about because they will just swing. Oh, hey, buddy. You could make it out of there. Can I borrow you? Yes, I can. Quick tip about parrying. Some people don't uh, don't always know what it means to, to parry. And it just means when this thing is hitting you, when it's in the animation, you go to block right away. And it's just a real quick, just a quick click of the block. And they'll be stunned. They'll be like kind of pushed back. And um, then you can get the stun bonus on them. So that's really nice. I don't know if I want to actually go too far into the swamp this episode. I think maybe I will take a couple steps in and what I'll do, I'll maybe like uh, mark a couple of dungeons. Right, so I'm actually going to have to end off the episode here. Um, basically what I did is I thought instead of re starting the recording where I started, I thought I recorded it right when I found the trader. So I ended up having like f an hour and a half of footage that I need to work with. So I'm just going to cut the video pretty much in half and release um, this part today and get the other episode out next week. Um, hopefully this is like, this is a pretty decent stopping point, but hopefully um, <laughs> it's all going to work out just fine. Uh, so I had to re-record this outro like seven times, but um, I also got a new microphone. Hopefully the quality is pretty apparent, but um, hopefully it's not like too crazy. Uh, but if it sounds like better, worse, um, please let me know down below. I would really like to do some tiny adjustments before some of the next week's videos go up. But again, I'm going to have to end the video off here. Sorry for the fourth wall break. Um, but if you guys like the video, feel free to leave a like down below. If you really enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. Anyways, thanks everybody for popping by. Catch y'all next time.